Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Avada checklist element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. The checklist element is a great element to make attractive lists, with options for icons, numbers, divider lines and font sizes. Let's start by adding one to the About page of the Creative Pre-built site as an example. I'll just remove a bit of this dummy text and then add the checklist element below this text block. When I add the element, a single child item is added to the page. As you can see here in the sidebar, I'm on the Children tab, which is where you add and configure the individual list items. There's also a General tab, which are the settings for the parent element. To add items to a checklist, there are two options. You can click on the Add List Item button, which adds another item, or if you have a long checklist to make, you can use the Bulk Add option. Here you can add the list items in the bulk add field, just by pasting in a list, with one item on each line. This is very helpful if you have a lot of items in your list. There are also some predefined choices on the right hand side. Ok, before we add more or edit the children, let's just go to the general tab and take a look. These are parent settings, which will affect all the child items unless individually overridden. The first option is checklist type. Here you can choose to have a checklist with icons, or a numbered checklist. After this is the Select Icon option. This sets an icon for the checklist items as a whole, but you can override this and set individual icons in the child items if you wish. In this case I won't select an icon here at all, and instead set the icons on a list item basis. The next option is the Icon Slash Number Color, and here I'll just go with the default. Below this is the Icon Slash Number Circle option. The default for this site is No. If you do choose to use an icon circle, a new option appears for you to control the colour of that circle. After this is the text colour option, and again here I'll leave it at the default. Icon font size is the next option, and this controls both the icon and the font size for the checklist items. The default on this side is 14 pixels, but I'm going to increase that to 18 here. The next option, item padding, controls the padding around the checklist items, but I will just leave that at the default values here. Next is Divider Lines, and I'm going to change this one to Yes, but I'll leave the Divider Line Colour on the default colour. The Divider Lines will span the width of the column they are in. Then comes a couple of options called Odd and Even Row Background Colour, and here you can apply a colour to both odd and even rows, with or without opacity. As an example I'll set the odd rows to colour 5, and reduce the opacity to around 0.5 and I'll set the even rows to be this colour again, but with a lower opacity. Yeah, that looks good. But here I don't think I want background colours on the rows, so I'll clear these. After this we have the margin option, with which you set the margins around the element as a whole. Finally on this tab we have the usual element visibility option, which allows you to choose whether the element is displayed on various screen sizes, and the CSS class and CSS ID fields, which allow you to further customise the element with custom CSS. I won't use any of these in this example, so now I can move over to the Children tab to look at the individual list items. I can edit an item by clicking on Edit, either here in the Element Options in the sidebar, or by clicking on the List Item Edit option here on the Child Item on the page. As you can see here, there are two sets of element controls on the checklist element. The one in the middle of the element is the checklist element control, which controls the element as a whole. But in the right bottom corner of the list item, we can see another element control, which controls the individual list items. If I just want to change the text on the item, I can also just edit the text directly on the page. I'll just select the text here in the first item, and paste in the new text I want. You can also link text in a checklist item like any other text. Here I'll select the first word, and use the inline editor to link it to the services page. Now I will edit the item and add an individual icon for this list item. I'll just search for Bell, and use this Concierge Bell here. Ok, so I want three items in total, but I'll delete this second one so I can show you the various ways to add new items. I can go back to the Children tab and click on the Add Lists Item button here, or I could clone the existing item with the Clone icon here, or I could just mouse over the element as I did before, and add one from there. Then I can just edit it, and add my text with whatever method I prefer. I'll just select the text on the screen again, and paste in my new list item text. And then I will add a link to the work page. 
and add my preferred icon. Okay, for the third item, I'll clone the second item and edit it in the element options. I'll change the icon and add the text here and add a link to the articles page. I only have a small checklist here with three items, but checklists can of course have as many items as you want. When using this element, it should also be remembered that there are global default options that you can set for it in the Avada Global Options. I'll just go to the General tab and click on a cog icon here as a shortcut. It takes me to the Checklist Options in the Avada Builder Elements tab of the Global Options. And here you can set whatever defaults you prefer for the initial styling of your checklists. It always pays to spend some time setting your preferred default values for the individual elements, as this will save you a lot of time when adding them again. Okay, so that's the checklist element. Let us know what you think about it in the comments. That's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.